And we know all about the tremendous crime and the statistics, which are so bad, happening right here in the state. As you know, Nevada is a cesspool of crime. You need to elect America First Republicans at every level. Two years ago, the radical Democrats and their allies in the media launched a full-scale assault upon the rule of law and law enforcement itself. They defunded police, abolished cash bail, and released thousands and thousands of dangerous criminals from jail onto the street. They incited a summer of deadly riots in Democrat-run cities, resulting in dozens of Americans killed and more than 2,000 police officers injured, including one officer shot in the head right here in Las Vegas. You know that. You remember that. But that wasn't the end of the radical Democrat crime wave. It was just the beginning. In every city where the far left defunded the police or attacked law enforcement, violent crime has now surged at numbers nobody has ever seen catastrophically. In Washington, D.C., there was a 35 percent rise in murders from 2019 to 2021. 35 percent, and that's low compared to many other cities. In New York, it was up 52 percent. In Chicago, it was so bad. It's a war zone. It was up much more than 60 percent. In Atlanta, it was even worse than Chicago. I had never known that. You practically can't walk outside without getting shot. It's so bad. The list goes on and on. Just last month, a 20-year-old woman was brutally gunned down in New York shot in the head while she pushed her three-month-old child in a stroller. In Chicago last week, a five-month-old baby girl was shot by a savage killer while riding in a car, in the backseat of a car, did it for fun, killed the baby for fun. In New Orleans, earlier this year, a 73-year-old woman was left dead after being carjacked by four teenage hoodlums. These were rough, too. These were bad hoodlums. These were bad ones. She was caught in the seatbelt, dragged for more than a block and a half, and was ultimately severed from life, limbs falling off. People watched it. Nobody acted except for a very brave police officer. Literally thousands of Americans are dead today because of the nationwide increase in murders since the left began its to fund the police crusade. Democrat-run cities. The blood of these victims is almost exclusively in these Democrat strongholds. Babies are being killed. Elderly women are being shot in the face and being raped. Elderly women are being raped. Children are being knife-stabbed and disfigured. As a candidate, Joe Biden helped lead his party's vile campaign against our police officers, and then he carried the rioters' agenda straight into the White House. Biden has sadly pushed to end qualified immunity. You know what that is, police officers? A declaration of war on law enforcement. In other words, let the policeman go out and hire his own lawyer and protect himself, because we don't give a damn about them. And that's what's happening, and that's what's happening with crime. A man slashed police access to surplus. Think of this. We had surplus equipment that I made available, and they took it away, and they took it back because it looked too militaristic. This was equipment that was sitting in warehouses all over the country. Billions and billions of dollars. It was just getting old and tired and dusty. And we were paying lots of rent to a, probably a lot of friends of government. And I took that equipment and I gave it away to all of the police departments all over the country. Now they're taking it back from the police departments because they think it looks too militaristic. Much of it is safety equipment so that policemen and women can live